Alright, so I usually don't make GTA 5 videos, but I guess uh, I will be now. So you go to Warstock Cash and Carry, you're going to go down a bit, you're going to go here. Now the trade price, you have to complete the Cayo Perico heist as a, I don't know if I said that right, but I did my best. Um, you got to complete the Cayo Perico heist, uh, it looks like you have to do it as the leader, as far as I know. So, uh, yeah, I did that first mission, but I guess I didn't uh, find all the secondary targets and everything like that. So I ended up buying it for the buy it now price, uh, which kind of sucks. I wish I wouldn't have done that. I probably should have, um, you know, gotten done it. I already have bought it, of course. Um, I'm not going to, you know, buy it now and, <laughs> you know, wait and everything. So I bought it. I've upgraded it a bit. Uh, this won't be a video about the uh, off-road, or this won't be a video about the upgrades that you can do. I've already upgraded mine. It's full, full tuning, full turbo, all that stuff. Stock lights. Unfortunately, yes, the stock lights are white. They should be like uh, darker, like yellow or something. Like, you know, I assume real Jeep lights would be. I don't know, maybe... Oops. Hope I don't get copyrighted for that or anything, but I don't think this video will get that big anyway. Uh, but anyway, I'm not sure. I don't think stock uh, Willy's Jeep lights would be that bright, but oh well. Um, so, I'll see if this video gets popular or whatever. Uh, I'm literally just filming this uh, with my phone on a tripod off my TV. So, I'm going to drive around for a minute, and uh, just as a pre-warning... There's going to be some uh, choice language, uh, you know, profanity, I guess, in this video. Um, not by me, but, you know, by, uh, I don't want to say players on the game, but, or even, I don't even want to say characters, but I guess just the uh, NPCs on the game, um, yeah, the non-playable characters, that's what I mean. Alright, now, we're just going to go here. Or actually, I want to find somewhere with good lighting. So I'm gonna go right over, right over here. All right, you can probably see that good. If not, sorry. But yeah, I'm just gonna basically walk around this. I wish I would have done this during the daytime, but oh well. I'm just gonna walk around this. Uh, this will be my first video of many uh, with this Jeep because I really do like this Jeep. And now that I've actually found a way to film it without having to worry about my Xbox, uh, you know, going to the Xbox app and all that stuff, um, I'm probably going to make a couple videos uh, with the off-road capability. Hopefully, I don't get copyrighted for them. But yeah, I put the SA exempt uh, tag on. But I'm pretty sure you don't get copyrighted unless your video is monetized. I'm pretty sure if you get copyrighted, you just can't monetize your video. Um... If anybody knows different than that, please tell me. But, um, yeah, let's go hood. Literally, you can only open the hood, which sucks. I was hoping maybe you could put the, uh, windshield down, like on the real Jeep. I have a toy Jeep like that. Um, I have done a video of that. I'll actually leave the, vi the link to that video in the description of this one. Because, yeah. Um... So there's basically the motor, uh, I guess. Um, and I have the star paint job on it. It doesn't come with this paint job, but I just wanted it to kind of look like a World War II Jeep. Uh, and it does. So, yeah. This this Jeep, I like it a lot. Um, maybe even a mash Jeep, I don't know. But I believe uh, it says it's a 1945. I'm not going to go read that off the website because there's other videos that do that. But... This video is just my take on this Jeep. I know it's been in the game for like almost two months now. I'm late to the party, but oh well. Uh, I'm going to go ahead here. And a lot. I know a lot of people do videos before uh, the vehicles even come out. I don't know how they do that, but I know they do. So, um, close the hood. Uh, did a little bit of a walk around already, but... Alright. So now... And I think there's going to be a little buzzy noise in this video. I don't know how to fix that right now. 
Uh, if I do figure out how to fix it, it will be fixed in the future, but if not, sorry. Um, so basically, this is going to be the first video, uh, my take on the off-road capability of the, uh, the, uh, the Vapid Winky, I guess that's the name in, the, in this game, but I'm just going to refer to it as the Willy's Jeep from now on. So I believe I have to go over here. Alright. Now. Some people say this is, you know, the worst possibly off-roader in the game. But I don't think so, because a lot of off-roaders and, you know, mini cars, they can't do this. Uh, not sure why you'd want to do this, necessarily. But, yeah. So, here's the first person view. In case you wanted to see that. Turn around. It looks pretty cool. But, for the purpose of this video, I'm not going to be in first person. Because I need to go slow, and I need to watch where I'm going. That's good enough for me. Uh, I, I need to be watching the brakes. I wasn't. Alright, so even though I wasn't watching the brakes, uh, I do think, you know, the bottom of the car probably scraped. But other than that, cool. Other than that, there's no real cosmetic damage. Um, so yeah, still looks pretty good. Uh, nothing scratched up as far as I can tell. And yeah, we're good to go. So we're going to try the round two, I guess. Now, a lot, of the, a lot of the vehicles in the game, they can go down, but... I think I just gave it away, but I'll show something at the end of this that a lot of other vehicles in the game can't do. And it starts now. So, a lot of other vehicles in the game, you get on the stairs, they're going to tip and fall. Like, they're going to tumble down the stairs, basically. This one, no. As long as you find your right angle, or not right angle, but you know, they're not going to tip. It might, until you find a good enough angle to get back up, it's going to have trouble. But once you do find a good angle, for the most part, it's ready to go right back up your stairs. Social climber, I love that. <laughs> you see that? See this right here? Social climber. Uh, that doesn't look that, as happy as... Uh, you know, I think it was at first, but yeah, <laughs> that looks uh, kind of, you know, GTA-like, of course. Um, but that's out of context. Um, let's just get back to this here. So we're going to go over the wet floor signs. Uh, last time I was here, there was a lady checking out the posters to the left there, and I think I hit her. I just want to knock that over. And then go over it. Um, I don't think a real car would go over, uh, you know, a wet floor sign like that. I mean, they'd crush it. So, but oh well, it's GTA. You know, you gotta give it, you gotta give it GTA points rather than real life points. Yeah. So this is one thing. If you don't gas it enough, it's gonna fall back down the stairs. There's the cops, hopefully they don't get mad. Um, so I'm just going to go back to where I was at first, and the light and everything. And I'm going to try to show what damage, if any, that I got in, on, on, the, on the Jeep. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm not very good at making videos, but I try. So <laughs> I just try to make what's fun, and I try to make what's entertaining. But a lot of the things I say are really boring. So <laughs> I'm sorry about that, but oh well. <laughs> It's not like I'm doing YouTube videos for money. I just do it for fun. Uh, for now. <laughs> Alright. Now that we're back in the light. <laughs> check out the damage. Which I see literally none. Uh, there might be a little bit on the front bumper there if you look. Uh, especially underneath the front bumper. But 
Yeah. So there you go. Uh, I'm going to have to angle this up a little bit more. Didn't know that. Oh, well. There we go. See, it's hard filming a video game off your phone, but... Oh, cool. I want to get some uh, footage of the General Lee like that. But hey, you can see the suspension flex. I want to get some pics of the General Lee, or videos, or whatever, driving around like this, you know, in the dirt and everything. I think I have before. Oh, almost lost it there. But yeah. This is so fun. I really want to do this with the General Lee now. I've done it before, but I want to do it again. I got footage of it, but I didn't film it on my phone, and the Xbox app hasn't got it yet, so it's like stuck between the, it's stuck in the void between the Xbox app and the Xbox, I guess. Oh, this is so fun, but it's really not the point of this video. Uh, I'll bet a lot of people have clicked off of the video by this point, but... <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'll go, but I just wanted to kind of show, oh dang, see, yeah, I got, that's why I kept it angled down at first, um, but yeah, hey, there's a warplane, <laughs> um, so yeah, I guess I'll make this a thing now, I guess, I'll do videos with the General Lee, I'll do videos with this Jeep off-road, and whatever other vehicle I decide. I mean, if I find the right vehicle for it, I might even make Daisy's Jeep. Um, I'm not going to buy another one of these to do it, but especially because, you know, this doesn't look like Daisy's Jeep. But, well, yeah, it kind of does. It's just got a little bit of a different angle. If it had a roll bar and it was white, it would look like Daisy's Jeep, I guess. <laughs> but... That's going to conclude this video, so hope you enjoyed, and uh, see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye.